Hey guys, this is Rob Storm from Super Boss Games, and today we're going to walk you through making your first map an intruder. Uh, as a side note, we have a sale going on right now that you can get intruder for 50% off, so that will bring it down to only 5 bucks if you want, so you can pick up that or gift copies at intruderfps.com. We're going to be ending that sale uh, after January 1st, so be sure to pick it up. The very first thing you're going to want to do when you make an intruder map is to download uh, Unity Pro and to download the Intruder MM Unity package from our website. It'll be right in this forum th thread here, which we will link in the description. And from here, from this link, you can download the Intruder MM Unity package. So after you start a new Unity project, like so, you can just go to uh, Assets, Import Unity Package, Custom Package, and then we'll go to load the Intruder MM Unity Package that I downloaded. So once that loads up, it'll bring up all these things, and you want to say Import. So now you'll have this folder in your Unity project called Intruder MM, and it's full of cool stuff. Um, you've got a demo scene available in here, which has all sorts of great uh, demonstrations of the things that you can set up for your Intruder levels. But let's start our own. Let's get one started right from the beginning. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is let's just make a place where people can stand. We need a place where people can stand and some spawn points. So I'm going to go to uh, Game Object, Create Other, and I'm going to make a cube here. I'm going to put the cube at at the origin at 0, 0, 0. And let's make that cube a little bit larger. Great. So now we've got a place where people can stand. The next thing I want to do is create a light so that we can see something in our scene. This should all be familiar to you if you use Unity at all. Uh, if not, there's tons of Unity tutorials everywhere, and we'll go into more detail about the basics of this stuff. So now what we want to do is we've got a place for people to stand, so let's just make a spawn point so that we can get our characters in-game. So we've got this folder here that's called Prefabs, and that has all sorts of pre-made things in it, like doors and spawn points and windows and keypads and ladders and all that good stuff. So if we come down here, we'll see Spawn A and Spawn B. So let's drag our Spawn A into the scene. This is the default place where guards normally spawn in normal objective modes. So we've got this here, so it's a little bit off the ground. And Spawn B, this will be where our intruders spawn, right here. So we've got those set up. And this is basically all you need at all to set up an intruder level. From here, you'll see we've got this nice uh, new menu bar called Intruder. So you just go to here, and the first thing you're going to want to do is export your scene. So let's, let's save this scene in here. Let's call it uh, Lesson 1. All right. So we got lesson one. So now let's go and export this scene. Let's put this scene. So now what you need to do is you need to find your copy of Intruder. This is the same on Windows and Mac. And you need, so here I have Intruder. And you need to create a new folder called Content. And then inside of that folder, you need to make one called Levels. So now that you've got that, We'll export this scene here as Lesson 1. So this is exporting now. So now what you want to do is you want to say, select the Intruder application. So from here, you go and you find your copy of Intruder. You open it. So now that knows where Intruder is uh, so that when you want to play your scene, 
uh, you can it'll go right to there. So from here, you go to Play Scene in Intruder. And this will actually export your scene again, and it will launch Intruder for you. You get started. You log in. You're going to test your level. And now this joins up as normal. So I'm going to join the intruders here. And here we are, right inside of that room that we just made. And a cool thing about this too is that if we want to, we can make edits while we're still right inside of the level. So let's say I wanted to add some glass to here. So let's find our glass proxy. Let's put that in. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to export our scene. Now if I go back to Intruder, and if I type in slash RES, it will actually reload the scene without us exiting the game whatsoever. And now we've got this glass here. Pretty cool. Works just like in the game. So now what? Now let's say you want to play this level with your friends. So the next thing you need to do is just go to login and upload. And in here, you just have to put in your login credentials. You can test your login to make sure that it works. Cool. And then you hit upload. So I'm going to upload lesson1.ilf or .intruder level file. So I'm going to upload that. Here it will say uploading, upload complete. So now if we go and we launch Intruder, log in. And now we've got this custom server button. So click the custom server button, and there it is. Lesson one by Rob Storm. This will make a server. Join the guards this time. And here we are with a live server running that other people can join. So it's simple as that. And since we're using Unity in this case, just like we're using to make our normal levels, you can get basically all the power out of the editor as we do when we make our own levels, which is great. So there are tons of custom levels up right now that you can go check out. And yeah, thanks for checking out making your first level. And once again, make sure to drop by our website and forum. Uh, the game is on sale right now. Go check that out. And make sure to follow us on Twitter and subscribe here on YouTube. All right. Till next time, see ya.